kids, Kelly Reynolds of Kelbell Studio here with another how-to video. This time it is the Miss October dress. Yes, I'm late again, but hopefully not with November. Anyway, Miss October is this lovely little Halloween dress. So the template file this time is going to be this little corset, and I'm going to leave you to your own devices on the skirt again, but you can follow along and do something similar as me or get creative and do something a little bit different but I do encourage you to use the tank template and the corset template and come up with your own skirt idea so we will get started on this beauty the template file for October is going to be this little mini corset which you're going to want to download off my blog. I'll leave a link here in this video clip, also in the description so that you can find it. And if you're following along with the paper wardrobe, wardrobe project, I'm going to leave this. This is the basic tank template, and a lot of the dresses that I'll be doing will use this template, so I'll put this in one centralized location so you don't have to keep downloading, downloading it. So step one is going to be to cut out your pieces. So I've got my tank top cut out, I've also got my corset cut out, and I found some black velvety paper that's perfect for this little corset, so that's what I've cut my pattern out of. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to cover your pieces, and this will be the last time that I cover covering the, the tank in a video. I'll refer to other videos in the future, so let's get started. I've selected a nice purpley paper to use for my October witch dress. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually covering the inside faces of these pieces, so when you lay them like this, I'm actually covering this side and this side. So what you'll do is apply glue to each side and then turn your decorative paper over and place your pieces face down. So I'll show you what that looks like. Step uno, apply the glue. Turn my decorative paper over. and it looks like this. And I'll do the same with my other piece and then cut them out carefully. Once you have your two pieces covered on one side, the other side isn't covered yet, you're going to take the front piece, because we're going to do the front and back a little bit differently than we did this. So you'll take your front piece, you'll apply glue, and then adhere it face down to the wrong side of your decorative paper. And when you cut it out, you're actually going to leave an allowance. So you're going to cut some extra paper around here, around here, and the top of the shoulders because we're going to end up folding it over and place it on top of this piece. We're going to end up folding that over so that we can connect these two pieces. So I'll just show you what that looks like. Here I've got this adhered, so I'm going to show you what I mean by cutting an allowance, you'll, you'll just come up to the top and instead of cutting right here, you'll cut a little bit above it. Same with here. And then you can cut the places where you need openings, like for the arms and the neck and the body. thing that was on camera. So I've come out here it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to 
leave some extra paper. So this is what this looks like with the extra parts. We want to cut tabs. This will make it much easier to fold over. So mainly at the curvy parts. And so these tabs will get folded over like this. So this is going to be considered your front, outside facing front. So you'll turn it over. This is your inside back. I know this gets really confusing. So you're going to put these together like this. And just line up your pieces and then apply glue to your tabs. And you're going to glue it to your back piece. Apply glue to your tabs, fold over. And then you might have a little bit of trimming up to do, like here. And you just go ahead and get in with your blade or your scissors and trim that up. And then do the same for this, these tabs here. And then the last thing you'll do to cover this is apply glue again on this side. And take your decorative paper, right side, wrong side, and face down. Here it is, all nice and glued together. And then you can take a, this is a stylus, and open it up. Give it a little bit of roundness so you can put your hanger through. And voila! So there's your tank top. Now you're ready to wrap your little corset around. So you can just cut it out of whatever decorative paper you want and wrap it around like that. We'll give her some little ties. So basically this should wrap around fairly nicely. What I did when I glued this down is I left this flap up meaning I didn't bring glue all the way over here because I wanted to give it the feel that it was sort of flapping open a little bit. So the next thing to do is to get a little bit of black gel pen and make your laces. And don't worry about this part down there, we'll add a little bow or something, but we want to get our piece finished before we do that. Now, we've got our tie and our corset on, we can add the skirt. So I'll basically use the same technique that I did with Miss September, only I'm going to put her skirt down just a little bit, like this. So again challenge you to come up with your own skirt idea. You 
Here's what my skirt looks like on. And the bottom is a little uneven, so I'm just going to go ahead and edge it with some deckled edge scissors. Here we go. The other thing I have for this is some black tulle, which I can now glue around. Look how cute that is. <laughs> Love this. So I'm not going to glue it on camera. But basically, it'll get wrapped around like this. Pretty, huh? She is looking lovely. So what I like to do to finish the waist is I've got some black ribbon. I guess it's a uh, like seam binding or something. It's very thin ribbon that you can just I'm folding it in half a little bit used to wrap around her waist and finish up those those edges. Here's how she's shaping up. I've added a little bow. Once I put the ribbon around the waistline, I added a little bow to finish up this part, the front part. She's looking cute, really cute. We really don't have much else to do with this except for maybe adding a little frill around the neckline and maybe do something with the sleeve. So I've got some flower soft that I'm going to put around the neckline to make it look, I don't know, like feathers or something. Just something fluffy and witchy. So here's her little flower soft neckline. Did it to the back too. This, uh, these dresses really are very versatile. You know, you can do lots of different things with the same dress pattern. We won't do everything the same, but this is very, very cute. I like this. So, just give her a little sleeve treatment and make your hanger and she'll be done. Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished her up. Gave her a little tulle sleeve and uh, some flower soft to give it a capped look. And we're going to call this done with the exception of adding our little hanger. So, voila! And she is all done. Isn't she cute? I love this. Love this. So, this is just you know, one way that you can take a tank top and a dress and create a little variation on it. So get creative and show me what you've done. Leave me a comment in my blog and send me a link to where I can find your work. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this.